Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Suspense. the next freight out of here, heading west. Tomorrow morning, one o'clock. We don't want them on that train with us. They ain't gonna be. The hungry jets. Real hungry. I guess we're going to have to invite ourselves in. Hey. Any objections, pal? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Beat look, it. Look, that's my grub. I ain't had anything to eat in two days. Ain't that too bad. Look, there's a grocery up the track. Go get yourself some chow. How? Broke, huh? I'm gonna die. Neither are we. Oh, we got the system. What do you mean? You want something? Take it. Works for us. Maybe it'll work for you. Sure. Look, I got a soft heart. I don't like to see hungry guys around. Get, Get out, out of here, beat it. Oh. <laughs> Someday somebody's gonna get you. Get you good. Rummy shoes, you think I could steal something better than that? Hey, we better get out of here. Looks like rain. Nah. I, uh, ain't had anything to eat over two days. Sorry, I can't oblige you. But I'm trying to tell you. Look, if I had to feed every tramp that came in here, I'd go broke tomorrow. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Look, give me a break, will you, mister? I'll tell you I'm starved. For the last time, I can't do it. Now, do I have to call the sheriff? Pop, let him stay. Now, look here, Martha. Oh, right. come on, let him stay. Supper's on the table, and there's enough for the three of us. Please. All right, all right, go on in. You, you want to wash up? It's right over there. Yeah. What's your name? 
Brad. Brad what? Just Brad. Different? Been in jail? You looking for a job? Can't find one. around here for a willing man. What's the matter? Aren't there any men around here? Do you see any? Except for Pop here? I'll get it. Huh? I'll take care of it, Martha. Want to help me clear up, Fred? Yeah, sure, sure. <coughs> oh, evening, Tom. Oh, good evening, Ed. Well, your stall light on from my place across the way. Figured you were still open. Yeah, I'll be closing up in a few minutes, though. What'll it be? Oh, let's see here. Uh, a pound of coffee, a loaf of bread, and a plug of chaw tobacco. Uh -huh. See, you got company for supper. Yeah, some tramp chiseling a meal. Well, you better be careful with these hobos, Tom. You never know what they might be up to. Oh, don't worry. He ain't gonna give me any trouble. <laughs> uh, let me see now. Uh, uh, how much is that? Uh, that's uh, one dollar and twelve cents. Okay. Hey, uh. Is that the smallest you have? <laughs> that's all I have. Huh? All right. You better get going. I gotta lock up now. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, get going. Get going where I ain't got no place to sleep. Pop, you're not gonna let him sleep outside tonight. What do you want me to do? Give him my bed? But, Pop, it's raining outside. Oh, these fellas are used to that. Look, why can't we put him up in the chicken coop? Now, listen, Martha. Well, what difference does it make? What harm can it do? I don't know. I don't like it. Just the idea of having him around the place. Please, Pop. Look, I, I promise I'll get him out of here first thing in the morning. Okay? All right. All right. Pop says you can stay in the chicken coop. I'll get you blankets. Take Here. Hi. 
Okay, you better let me mend that up. You can pick it up at the house first thing in the morning. Tell me something. Yes? Why are you being so nice to me? Because you're down in your luck. Is that the real reason? That's what you really wanted, isn't it? Fix that phone right in the chicken coop? Sure. Well, good night. Uh, I'll be up soon. Okay. This is Rex Marshall speaking for Auto Life. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. But while we take this little intermission, I'd like to tell you a little story of my own that concerns one of the favorite features of television. That's right, wrestling. <laughs> now, it all happened the night that uh, Bone Crusher Brady, one of TV's big stars, was starting out for his match with Lilac Louie. Oh, but look what happened. His car wouldn't start. His battery was dead, out as cold as his last opponent. Hey, hey, Bone Crusher, you don't have to throw away the automobile. No, no, wait, wait a minute now. Hey, hey Bone Crusher, hold it. Hey, you see, your trouble is you just keep forgetting to fill the battery with water. <laughs> That's right, folks. The Bone Crusher never did know that uh, extreme loss of water is one of the principal causes of battery failure. And, of course, what our mighty man of muscle should have had is an Autolite Stay Full battery. The famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. You see, in the ordinary battery, small particles keep flaking off the positive plates. So the ordinary battery has to have a large space in the bottom of the case to hold those particles. Otherwise, they'll get together and short-circuit the plates. But that isn't the case with the Autolite Stay Full battery. Oh, indeed. In the Autolite Stay Full battery, there's a fiberglass insulation, a retaining mat that protects every, every positive plate and holds the active materials in place to reduce that flaking. You see, there's the fiberglass, the feature that gives such real advantages to the Autolite Stay Full battery. Now, while the ordinary battery requires this much extra space below the plates, 
The Autolite Stay Full battery doesn't need all that extra space, so we use it to advantage by putting it up above. Well, with both batteries filled to capacity, you can see that the solution in the ordinary battery barely covers those all-important plates. While in the Autolite Stay Full, there's over three times as much liquid reserve for over three times the protection. Now, as water evaporates in the ordinary battery, parts of the plates are left exposed and partially inactive. But when the same amount of water evaporates from the Autolite Stay Full battery, the plates are fully protected and still active. And so that's why your Autolite Stay Full battery needs water only three times a year, normal car use. And it's important to remember this, too, that the Autolite Stay Full battery gives longer life in tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. So why don't you make it a point to drop in and see your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer soon. He services all makes of batteries, and if you need a replacement, he'll have an Autolite stay full for your car. To quickly and easily learn his location, simply call Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25, please. That's me, and I'll be glad to give you the number of your nearest Autolite battery, battery and call Operator 25, Western Union. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, act two of The Debt with Conrad Janis and Robert Keith, Jr. Maybe you didn't, and then maybe you did. Miss Allison? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I was upstairs, and I heard a noise in the store. And after that? I, I called for my father. Didn't answer. I went downstairs into the store, looked on the floor, 
It's all my fault. You didn't get a look at the killer before he hit you? No. No, all I remember, there was this... There was this awful blow in the back of my head. And then I felt his heel coming down here. And that's all. That's all I remember. No question about it. It was this hobo you were putting up for the night. You'd know him if you saw him again, Ed. I sure would. I'd know him anywhere. All right. Frank, you take a couple of men. Start beating the woods toward the river. Sam, you take some men and fan out along the highway toward uh, Pendleton. And cover the road north to Corey, too. This here killer is liable to try for a hitch. If you pick him up, report to me back here. Ellis. Yeah, Sheriff. What time does that freight come through to take on water? One o'clock, sharp. One o'clock, eh? Mm-hmm. I told you. Put me along, will you? They're at. Deputy, deputy, the woods are full of them. Okay, what'd you think? Well, somebody killed the owner of the store up the road. They think I did. They think, huh? Yeah, but I didn't do it, see? I never I never had a thing to do with it. Sure. What'd you come back here for? I had to. Look, I gotta make that one o'clock train I got to. It's my only chance. You figure riding a freight with me and Jess? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Make a difference. What do you mean? Me and Jess are riding a train. You ain't. Wait a minute, what's the idea? The idea is you're hot. We ain't riding with no killer, are we, Jess? No, we ain't. How do we know they ain't gonna pick you up at the next town and pick us up with you? Hey, ask us a lot of questions, maybe. Well, maybe not. Maybe Lynch or three of us ask the questions later. Here she comes, Idaho. Just leaving the water. Look, I, I gotta get on that train. Oh, yeah. I got you. Let's stop. <laughs> Gonna catch that freight. Yeah, so did I. A little change in plan. Come on, I'm gonna take you back and turn you. No, I'm not your chance, prove. Not just sticking your neck in the nose. Yeah, maybe I am, maybe I ain't. Come on now. Come on! Yes. Yes. Okay. Any news, sir? No. So far, haven't seen hide nor hair of him. Sheriff, that's the man! That's him! Now, wait a minute, you're wrong, mister. The man you want is outside. There are, there are two of them, I... Just turn him over to the deputies. Hey, Sam. Bring those fellas in here. Uh, now, how are you going to prove it? Well, look, wouldn't have brought him in if I was a killer, would I? Look, look, here, here's the money they stole from the old man. That's the money, and, and here's his gun. Yeah, that's Tom's gun, all right. Well, he's lying. He was packing it on him all the time. He's only trying to pin it on us. He's right. This is no proof. I'm gonna take you all down and book you. Okay, Sam, take away. Yeah, logic, punk! All right. Wait a minute. Sure. Look at that here. Now look at the mark. Look at the mark on her sleeve. You are looking. 
looks like the same mark, all right. They don't prove nothing. There's a million hills like that. Let me see yours. Sure. Completely different, huh, Sheriff? Well, it's proof enough for me. Okay, Sam, take them down and book them. <laughs> We figured you were on that freight. As it turned out, it's lucky you wasn't. Why? What do you mean? Why, we had deputies all over the train. Boarded it at the water tower. They had orders to shoot to kill. One thing I still can figure. Why did you come back? I had to, Sheriff. I had a favor to return. Necessity, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense, starring John Forsythe.